Good morning students. Welcome back to social online class. I am very happy to meet you in this session. Are you fine students? I hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of God. Okay students, now we are learning economics part, is it? From economics part, lesson 2 to 5 already I taught. Now I am, I started economics lesson 1, is it? In the previous class, I started economic lesson 1 and also in the previous class I taught about the introduction and the definition of cross domestic product, is it? Economics lesson 1, the heading is cross domestic product and its growth and introduction. In the previous class, I started this lesson and I taught about introduction and definition of cross domestic product. Is it students? Have you remember students that introduction and definition of cross domestic product? Very good. In the beginning of this class, we can recollect few important points about previous class portion. Okay. In the previous class, first of all, we learned about the introduction. That means how we identify about or how we understand about GDP. That means uh, one example I told is it if anybody asks uh, the question, how is India's doing? Uh, how will we say the answer? About GDP one day we can know this question's answer. Okay. So, to understand how the GDP tells us how India is doing. So, how we can understand about uh, GDP? For that also, <coughs> I gave one definition, uh, one example. He said, uh, for example, the imagination of what happens in the hotel. Okay. Then, that also you know well. Then, next we learned about the definition of GDP. The definition of GDP. Is it? Have you remember students the definition of GDP? Very good. GDP is the market value of all the final goods and services produced in the country during a time of uh, time, during a time period. That means in a particular period in a particular uh, country's uh, produced what are the things and what are the services they are doing what are the works they are doing these are calculated in the GDP okay the income through the production goods and uh, the, the income through the services are calculating in the GDP uh, likewise we can understand the GDP uh, if we know the GDP's level means we can say the answer about how we India is doing is it students then from this definition, three things we learned, is it? Have you remember students, what are the three things? Very good. First one is goods and services. Second one is market value. Third one is final goods and services. Is it? Three things we learned from this definition. The first one is goods and services. That means uh, the goods are tangible items. Tangible items means we can uh, feel and touch. Okay. That means the production goods items. Then uh, uh, services are called intangible. Intangible means uh, services. What are the work done that particular production area? That is intangible. Is it that are goods and services? Then uh, secondly, uh, market value. Market value means uh, the production uh, that productions were uh, sent to sold in the market that um, solding money that is how much rupees they are selling that particular uh, production that price is called market value okay that price is called market value then finally uh, final goods and services final goods and services that means uh, intermediate one uh, uh, production that means one goods item want to produce means some of the intermediate goods items are need to produce that particular final goods is it so that intermediate goods are not calculated in the gdp uh, if the intermediate goods want to calculate means it is double counting want to do double counting it is very difficult is it so 
the intermediate uh, uh, goods items were not calculated in the final goods the final goods value only added in the gdp for that also i gave the example is it uh, for one cup of tea amount is uh, 10 rupee uh, 10 rupee that means uh, the sugar amount the tea powder amount also in the include including in the final goods value is it that means uh, intermediates uh, uh, intermediate goods are sugar and uh, tea powder that intermediate goods value is added in the final goods value that final goods value only added in the uh, gdp is it these are the things we learned in the previous class is it students okay now let us come forward to today's class okay today i am going to teach about national income today i am going to teach about national income students uh, today's portion is very very important here uh, some uh, two more questions are there one detail questions are there from here one short answer and one detail must come in the uh, public exam so very very careful okay listen very careful okay uh, today i am going to teach the national income is a is it listen here first i am going to explain the definition of national income first i am going to explain the definition of national income okay listen here students national income is a measure of the total value of goods and services produced by an economy over a period of time normally a year listen very careful students very very important public exam question two more question what uh, define national income the question is define national income okay national income is a measure of the total value of goods and services produced by an economy over a period of time normally a year that means in a particular period of time that means normally one year or uh, quarter time or half time or fairly time likewise uh, normally one particular period of time one country's production from goods and services are called national income how can you understand students uh, what is national income in a particular period one country's production through goods and services are called national income okay then uh, this national income is commonly uh, known as cross national product gnp national income is otherwise called cross national product or national dividend listen very careful students the national income was commonly known as cross national product or national dividend okay then next i am going to teach the topic about various terms associated with measuring of national income listen very careful next i am going to teach about various terms associated with measuring of national income okay this is one of the five more question here seven terms are associated to measuring national income uh, the first one is cross national product the second one is cross domestic product the third one is net national product fourth one is net domestic product fifth one is per capita income sixth one is personal income and the last one is disposable income okay there are six terms associated with meaning of uh, measuring of national income okay then the first one is cross the first one is cross national product okay the first one is cross national product cross national product is the total value of goods and services produced and income received in a year by domestic residents of a country listen very careful students cross national product okay what is cross national product cross gnp gnp the abbreviation of gnp is cross national product okay the cross national product is the total value of goods and services 
produced and income received in a year by domestic residents of a country. That means in a particular period or one year, uh, one uh, particular country's production through goods and services that income in uh, that means domestic residents of a country that means inside the country what are the goods and services uh, they are producing that means the through goods and services how much amount value is coming that value is calculated the cross national product cross national product that means total value of goods and services produced in a year by domestic residents that means inside the country okay inside one particular country's production through goods and services are called cross national product now can you understand students through one particular period through one particular country's uh, goods and services through goods and services products producing income is called cross national product okay listen students g cross national product that means gnp gnp is equal to c plus i plus g plus xm plus nfia listen very careful students gnp is equal to c plus I plus G plus XM plus NFIA. Now listen here. C means consumption. C means consumption. Consumption in Tamil we are saying Nugarbor. Okay. Then I. I means investment. Investment means we know is it Mudali taller in Tamil we are saying. Okay. Then G means government expenditure. Then XM means export and import. NFIA means net factor income from abroad nfia means net factor income that means income from abroad abroad means foreign countries from foreign countries income is nfia okay can you understand students okay then the second important term is cross domestic product the second one is the cross domestic product gdp gdp means cross domestic product okay now listen here cross domestic product is the total value of outputs of goods and services produced by a factors of production within the geographical boundaries of the country cross domestic product is uh, the total value of output of goods and services that means uh, uh, output output means uh, uh, production okay production uh, produced in a factor within the geographical boundaries of a country in a particular period of time in particular country's production okay production is called cross domestic product cross national product means production's income okay how much uh, through goods and services how much income we are getting inside the country that is cross national product cross domestic products means inside the country how much input i'm uh, sorry how much output goods and through goods and services are producing okay output that means how much production we are getting through inside the country is called cross domestic product okay then the third important term is net national product. The third one is the net national product. Okay, NNP. NNP operation is net national product. Listen students, net national product is arrived by making some adjustment with regard to depreciation with this we arrive the net national product by deducting the value of depreciation from cross national product. Listen very careful students, net national product is the adjustment, it is making the adjustment regard the depreciation arrive the net national product that means deducting value that means uh, um, through uh, production area 
what are the producing goods items were destroying they are uh, calculating they are uh, de deducting that particular value of depreciation depreciation means destroying things through that production as areas uh, some of the things were get destroyed is it so they are de deducting the value of de destroying things that is called cross national product okay that is called cross national product nnp is equal to gnp minus depreciation nnp is equal to gnp minus depreciation that means through GN, uh, gnp means total production minus depreciation depreciation means uh, destroying things that uh, destroying goods items amount where they are reducing okay that is called nest national product okay then the fourth one is the net domestic product the fourth one is the net domestic product ndp the abbreviation of ndp is net domestic product okay net domestic product is a part of cross domestic product net domestic product is obtained from the cross domestic product by deducting the quantum of tier and wear expenses listen very careful students net domestic product it is a part of cross domestic product okay then this net domestic product is obtained from cross domestic product by deducting the quantum of tier and wear tier and wear means uh, uh, for uh, the amount of repairing okay uh, during the production uh, produce production area some of the goods items get uh, destroyed or get uh, damaged is it so uh, if uh, we want to do uh, some of the uh, damage that means so that particular damage items want to create new things means uh, uh, we need to spend some money okay uh, that is called net domestic product that means uh, the net domestic product is a part of cross domestic product it obtained from the cross domestic product uh, product by deducting the quantum of tier and wear expenses tier and wear expenses okay that tier and wear expenses were reducing that means again dp is equal to gdp minus depreciation ndp is equal to gdp minus depreciation okay can you understand students then that means through net domestic product production area what are the things get damaged they are they are uh, reducing the quantum of tier and wear expenses how much money they are spending to uh, create that damage things to clear annually that particular amount are reducing that is called net domestic product G ndp is equal to gdp minus depreciation okay then the fifth one is the per capita income the fifth one is the per capita income pci pci the abbreviation of pci is per capita income okay listen students per capita income or output per person is an indicator to show the living standard of people in a country it is obtained by dividing the national income by the population of a country per capita income per capita income is an indicator to show the living standard of people in a country that means uh, to dividing one person's income okay they are in uh, dividing one person's income how they are uh, uh, dividing the one person's income means uh, national income divided by population national income divided by population okay that means how much income in a particular period that means during one year how much income uh, getting uh, for that particular country divided by that country's population divided by that country's population is calculated one person's income calculated by one person's income that is called per capita income okay then uh, in 1867 to 68 the first time 
தாதாபாய் நவ்ரோஜி அசட்டைண்ட் த பர் கேபிட்டா கேபிட்டல் இன்கம் இன் ஹிஸ் புக் பாவர்ட்டி அண்ட் அன் பிரிட்டிஷ் ரூல் ஆஃப் இண்டியா அசட்டைண்ட் அசட்டைண்ட் மீன்ஸ் டு ஃபைண்ட் சம்திங் அவுட் அசட்டைண்ட் தட் மீன்ஸ் இன் த இயர் எயிட்டீன் சிக்ஸ்டி செவன் டு சிக்ஸ்டி எயிட் தாதாபாய் நவ்ரோஜி அசட்டைண்ட் அசட்டைடு டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் சம்திங் அவுட் த பர் கேபிட்டா இன்கம் இன் த புக் பாவர்ட்டி அண்ட் அன் பிரிட்டிஷ் ரூல் ஆஃப் இண்டியா ஓகே தென் த சிக்ஸ் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டேர்ம்ஸ் இஸ் பர்சனல் இன்கம் த சிக்ஸ் ஒன் இஸ் த பர்சனல் இன்கம் ஓகே பர்சனல் இன்கம் இஸ் த டோட்டல் மணி இன்கம் ரிசீவ்ட் பை இண்டிவிஜுவல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவுஸ் ஹோல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் எ கண்ட்ரி ஃப்ரம் ஆல் பாசிபிள் சோர்சஸ் பிஃபோர் டைரக்ட் டேக்ஸஸ் லிசன் வெரி கேர்ஃபுல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் பர்சனல் இன்கம் பர்சனல் இன்கம் மீன்ஸ் ஒன் பர்டிகுலர் பர்சன் இண்டிவிஜுவலி ஹவு மச் தே ஆர் ரிசீவிங் ஆர் ஹவு மச் தே ஆர் ப்ரொடியூசிங் தேட் பர்டிகுலர் ப்ரொடக்ஷன்ஸ் வேல்யூ ஈஸ் கால்ட் பர்சனல் இன்கம் பிஐ பிஐ அப்ரிவேஷன் ஆஃப் பிஐ இஸ் பர்சனல் இன்கம் ஓகே இட் இஸ் த டோட்டல் மணி இன்கம் ரிசீவ்ட் பை இண்டிவிஜுவல்ஸ் அண்ட் ஹவுஸ் ஹோல்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் எ கண்ட்ரி ஃப்ரம் ஆல் பாசிபிள் சோர்சஸ் பிஃபோர் டைரக்ட் டேக்ஸ் ஓகே therefore personal income can be expressed as follows pi is equal to ni corporate income taxes minus undistributed corporate profits social security contri- contribution transfer plus transfer payment okay that means how much production uh, producing through one individual person and house goals that is calculated in personal income okay then the last one is the disposable income the last one is the disposable income di the abbreviation of di is disposable income okay listen students disposable income means actual income which can be spent on consumption by individuals and families thus it can be expressed as dpi minus pi minus direct taxes disposable income that means um, actual income spent on consumption by one individual person spent uh, uh, to consumption and families thus it can be expressed as dpi is equal to pi minus direct tax that means from consumption approach di is equal to consumption expenditure from plus savings expenditure plus savings that is disposable income how much they are uh, expending or how much they are savings okay that is disposable income okay can you understand students these are the various terms associated with measuring of national income i hope you understood about this five mark question shall we recall the points now we learned about national income and various terms associated with measuring of national income okay from here first of all we learned about national income that means def- definition of national income have you remember remember students the definition of national income very good national income is a measure of the total value of goods and services produced by an economy over a period of time normally a year is it it is very very important to mark question of goods and services produced through economy over a period of time normally one year or particular time okay And then this national income is otherwise called cross national product or national dividend okay the national income is otherwise called very good cross national product or dividend okay then next we learned about various terms associated with measuring of national income he said how many terms are associated to measuring national income very good seven terms are associated with measuring of national income he said what are the seven terms very good the first one is cross national product second one is cross domestic product third one is net national product fourth one is net domestic product fifth one is per capita income sixth one is personal income the last one is disposable income 
is it from here one by one we land just i recall one by one the first one is the cross national product is it cross national product it is the total value produced in a particular countries that particular income uh, productions income is counted measured in the um, cross national product okay then secondly cross domestic product is it cross domestic product means uh, through one particular country's uh, production area how much they are producing that that is calculated in the cross domestic product okay then the thirdly we learned about net learned about net national product the national product is arrived by making some adjustment with regard to depreciation that is we arrive the net national product by deducting the value of depreciation from cross national product that means national product that during productions some of the things will get to destroy is it or some of the things will get to damage is it that that are damage it uh, things are uh, reduced that is national uh, product okay so that is called net national product the example the um, nnp is equal to gnp minus depreciation okay how much they are producing through inside the country they are reducing the depreciation depreciation means destroying items is called net national product fourthly net domestic product is it the same thing net domestic product means inside the country how much they are producing that producing time some of the things were uh, get damage is it uh, through uh, that damage uh, production areas the damage goods items were repairing they are repairing uh, through repairing uh, areas they want to spend some money is it so that particular money sir they are reducing uh, through this uh, domestic product that is called net domestic product okay that is called net domestic product the last uh, fifth one is the per capita income is it it is one of the very very important two mark question okay very very important two mark question per capita income per capita income that means one particular person's uh, uh, particular person's income how we calculate uh, one country's one person's income how we calculate how can we calculate per capita income or output per person is an indicator to show the living standard of people in a country it is obtained by dividing the national income by the population of a country okay the formula is per capita income is equal to national income divided by population that means one country how much income uh, uh, getting that means they are how much income getting uh, in between one Uh, year divided by pop that particular country's population is equal to how much uh, value is coming that is per capita income that means one person's income can you understand student okay then tamil we are saying thala varmanam okay in tamil we are saying thala varmanam then <coughs> sixth one is personal income is it personal income that means personally individually and households one particular in a country one particular person or one particular family uh, how much income they are uh, getting that is called personal income okay then finally uh, disposable income disposable income means uh, one particular individually uh, or one families how much income they are getting and how much they are expending okay expenditure that means um, dic equal to disposable income is equal to consumption expenditure plus savings how much they are expending and how much they are savings in particular person or one family that is called disposable income okay can you understand students these are the things we learned in this class the continuation of this lesson i will teach the next class okay now all are take your book students now all are take your book turn the exercise pages turn exercise pages that means page number 302 students all are turn page number 
பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் சாரி த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டூ ரோம நம்பர் ஃபோர் பேஜ் நம்பர் த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் டூ ரோம நம்பர் ஃபோர் ஓகே ரோம நம்பர் ஃபோர் தேர் ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் கிவன் எஸ் இட் ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் கிவன் யூ மார்க் இட் தட் ஷார்ட் ஆன்சர்ஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் டிஃபைன் நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் எஸ் இட் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் டிஃபைன் நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் ஆன்சர் இஸ் பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் நைன்டி த்ரீ ஆன்சர் இஸ் பேஜ் நம்பர் டூ ஹண்ட்ரட் அண்ட் நைன்டி த்ரீ நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் ஹெட்டிங் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் ஓகே ஃப்ரம் தேர் ஒன் பாயிண்ட் ஒன் நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் ஹெட்டிங் நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் இஸ் எ மெஷர் ஆஃப் த டோட்டல் வேல்யூ ஆஃப் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீசஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் பை அன் எக்கானமி ஓவர் எ பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் நார்மலி ஏ இயர் காமன்லி நேஷ்னல் இன்கம் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் கிராஸ் நேஷ்னல் ப்ராடக்ட் ஆர் நேஷ்னல் டிவைடட் க்ளோஸ் த ப்ராக்கெட் that one paragraph this is very very important public exam question okay okay students then the second question what is mean by cross domestic product what is mean by cross domestic product the same page answer is the same page that mean page number 293 page number 293 cross national product heading uh, sorry cross domestic product heading cross domestic product heading okay number 2 okay the terms number 2 cross domestic product heading that paragraph fully cross domestic product is the total value of output of goods and services produced by the factors of production within the geographical boundaries of the country close the bracket then the third question is write the importance of cross domestic product third question is write the importance of cross domestic product importance of cross domestic product that question you have to refer the guide okay importance of cross domestic product that that question you have to refer the guide okay then then fourth question fourth question what is per capita income fourth question what is per capita income page number 294 answer is page number 294 number 5 per capita income like is on per on heading is there is it per capita income per capita income or output per person is an indicator to show the living standard of people in a country it is obtained by dividing the national income by the population of a country then per capita income is equal to national income divided by population that formula is very very important otherwise you get one mark only so including the formula also you have to write okay per capita income is equal to national income divided by population close the bracket close the bracket these four questions you have to learn then roma number 5 write in uh, detail answer roma number 5 write in detail answer first question briefly explain various terms associated with measuring of national income next uh, from here roma number 5 first question okay first detail briefly explain various terms associated with measuring of national income okay the answer is page number 293 and 294 answer is page number 293 and 294 293 and 294 from there national income heading after various terms associated with measuring of national income like one heading is there is it from there you mark it the first point cross national product first para fully gnp is equal to c plus that and all no need okay up to invested abroad up to invested abroad then second point cross domestic product that para fully net national product para fully net domestic product para fully per capita income fully personal income fully and disposable income up to direct taxes first para alone okay up to direct taxes that box no need to write blue color box no need to mark Uh, remaining all the things you mark this question also important public exam question okay students okay 
the continuation of this lesson i will teach the next class thank you students